Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received at Safriya Palace Pakistan's Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee, General Sahir Shamshad Mirza, on the occasion of his visit to Bahrain, where he conveyed to His Majesty the greetings and appreciation of the President of Pakistan, Arif Alavi, and Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif, and their wishes of further progress and prosperity for Bahrain. His Majesty asked them to convey his greetings to the Pakistani President and Prime Minister and his wishes of further progress and prosperity to the country. His Majesty the King affirmed Bahrain's pride in the close historical relations of cooperation and friendship between Bahrain and Pakistan, which witnesses development in all fields. His Majesty welcomed the chairman and praised the level of the Bahraini-Pakistani relations in all fields, noting that such visits enhance the developed bilateral cooperation to serve both countries, especially in the military and defense fields. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation for Pakistan's honorable stances and his cooperation in maintaining the security and stability of the region and for the Pakistani community's role in the country's development march. During the meeting, they discussed the latest regional and international developments and issues of common concern. In appreciation of His Majesty for the efforts of the chairman and strengthening the bonds of military and defense cooperation with the kingdom, His Majesty bestowed upon him the Order of Bahrain. For his part, the chairman expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the order and pride in consolidating bilateral relations, especially in the military and defense fields, for the benefit of the two countries and their people. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Your Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, General Sahar Shamshad Mirza, Pakistan's Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee in Pakistan's Armed Forces. Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In recognition of the great role performed by His Excellency General Sahar Shamshad Mirza in strengthening the excellent relations of friendship and cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Islamic Republic of Pakistan in all fields, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will award His Excellency the Order of Bahrain in appreciation of his outstanding efforts and contributions. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gdaybiya Palace. The cabinet highlighted the address delivered by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa at the 32nd Arab League Summit. During his speech, His Majesty the King invited leaders of Arab states to next year's summit, which will be held in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The cabinet noted that His Majesty the King's address reflects Bahrain's commitment to upholding regional security and continued stability and prosperity. The cabinet also congratulated uh, His Majesty the King, the government and the people of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on the success of the summit, which was an extension of the Saudi diplomatic and humanitarian efforts to preserve a regional security, stability and unity. The cabinet welcomed the election of the Minister of Health as the chair of the main committee, A, by the World Health Assembly for its 76th session. The cabinet expressed its appreciation for the confidence placed in Bahrain's healthcare capabilities and its response to global health challenges. The cabinet also welcomed Bahrain International Airport's receipt of two sustainability awards, the Green Airport Recognition 2023 Award for airports serving 8 to 15 million passengers annually, 
and a certificate marking its upgrade to a level 4 transformation from the Airports Council International Airport Carbon Accreditation Program. To mark the 42nd anniversary of the GCC's founding, the Cabinet affirmed Bahrain's support for the GCC's efforts in achieving the ambitions of its leaders and their people's aspirations. The Cabinet then discussed and approved the following memorandums. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding Bahrain's contributions and memberships to international organizations. A memorandum by the Minister of Finance and National Economy and the Minister of Industry and Commerce regarding the decision of the GCC Standing Committee for Combating Harmful Practices in International Trade to continue imposing anti-dumping fees on several GCC imports. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between the Ministry of Interior's National Cyber Security Center and Amazon. The MOU aims to strengthen cooperation on cloud computing. A memorandum of cooperation between the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and the Royal Commission for Al Ula in Saudi Arabia to enhance cooperation between the two countries in heritage tourism and the preservation of culture. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding five MOUs between the University of Bahrain and regional and international bodies. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding two MOUs between Bahrain Polytechnic, Peking University and the Hikvision Research Institute in the fields of education and research. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to four proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet also reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture regarding the farmers' market. Finally, the Cabinet noted the following ministerial reports. The outcomes of the meeting of the Economic and Social Council for the 32nd regular session of the Arab Summit at the ministerial level. The outcomes of the 119th meeting of the GCC Financial and Economic Cooperation Committee, Bahrain's participation at the 14th International Economic Forum, Russia Islamic World Kazan Forum 2023, the official visit of the Minister of Industry and Commerce to Japan and Korea. The Bahrain Defense Force Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received Pakistan's Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee General Sahar Shamshad Mirza and the accompanying delegation in the presence of the Minister of Defense Affairs Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi and the Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Dia bin Sagr Al Naimi. The BDF Commander-in-Chief welcomed Chairman Mirza and the accompanying delegation hailing the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Pakistan and the means to develop them at the level of military coordination and defense cooperation to achieve common interests. The meeting was attended by BDF General Headquarters Court Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, Assistant Chief of Staff for Operations Lieutenant General Ghanem Ibrahim Al Fadala, Director of Military Cooperation Naval Major General Mohammed Yusuf Al Asam, and a number of senior BDF officers. Bahrain is set to host tomorrow the first meeting of the Permanent Committee of the Muslim-Christian Dialogue between the Muslim Council of Elders and the Vatican. The Muslim-Christian Dialogue Permanent Committee was set up per a memorandum of understanding between Abu Dhabi-based Muslim Council of Elders and the Dicastery for Inter-Religious Dialogue in the Vatican City. The committee is one of the outcomes of a Bahrain Forum for Dialogue East and West for Human Coexistence, which was hosted by Bahrain in November in conjunction with the historic official visit of His Holiness Pope Francis and Al Azhar's Grand Imam and Chairman of the Muslim Council of Elders, Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyib, which was at the invitation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The committee meeting aims at a coordinating efforts and joint initiatives to foster interreligious and cultural dialogue and promote a dialogue between Islam and Christianity. The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, will represent Bahrain in the Muslim Council for Elders, which is working on the implementation of many initiatives and projects to promote interfaith dialogue in general and a dialogue between Islam and Christianity in particular. 
Bahrain's hosting of the permanent committee of the Muslim Christian Dialogue reflects the lofty approach of His Majesty the King in supporting the efforts aimed at promoting dialogue and human coexistence. Dr. Ahmed al tayyib and His Holiness Pope Francis signed in Abu Dhabi in 2019 the Human Fraternity Document, which is considered the most important in the history of interreligious dialogue. The Minister of Labor and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labor Markets Regulatory Authority, LMRA, Jamil Ahmedan, led the Kingdom's delegation to the 49th Arab Labor Conference held under the patronage of Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. On the occasion, Labor Minister stated that the Kingdom is participating in the conference out of its constant keenness to enhance joint Arab action, contribute to developing ALO's general policies, and exchange expertise and experiences with ALO member states in creating job opportunities and developing human resources. He stressed that employing youth and integrating them in the labor market are essential for the stability and development of Bahraini societies. The minister praised the conference's interest in developing tripartite social dialogue among production parties given its importance in improving work environments in Arab countries. The Minister of Health, Dr. Jalila Hassan, attended the opening of the 76th session of the World Health Assembly, WHA, being held in Geneva, Switzerland. The Minister delivered the statement of Bahrain under the theme, The World Health Organization After 75 Years, Saving Lives, Achieving Health for All. She praised international efforts that contributed to overcoming the global health challenge, which led to integrated immunity and the return to normal life. She stressed the government's commitment to supporting global initiatives aimed at achieving health for all. She paid tribute to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, hailing their support to building a viable, integrated and comprehensive system that provides high-quality health care services to all social segments. She commended WHO's role and year-long dedication that contributed to reinforcing health as a basic human right. The World Health Assembly, WHA, has elected the Minister of Health, Dr. Jalila Hassan, as chair of the WHA Main Committee A, which deals with key technical issues such as health systems, comprehensive health coverage, and emergency preparedness and response. This came on the sidelines of the 76th WHA session, which opened today in Geneva, Switzerland. The election of Bahrain for this important position, which it occupies for the first time, comes as a result of its efforts and continuous cooperation with the WHO through the implementation of several joint programs to confront the various health conditions facing the world, in addition to Bahrain's integrated health system that keeps pace with the latest global developments. The Minister of Education and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak Jum'a, affirmed his pride in the work accomplished by the Bahrain Teachers College, BTC, and its Board of Directors in pursuit of international accreditation. The Bahrain Teachers College obtained international accreditation from the National Council for Accreditation in Teacher Education in the U.S., thus becoming one of the leading regional colleges in teacher preparation. This achievement reflects the Council's confidence in BTC's curriculum and teaching methods, training processes, the processes of evaluation and selection of students, and the processes of quality assurance, in addition to the administrative and financial efficiency. The preparation period for accreditation lasted four years, during which many requirements were fulfilled, data was provided, evaluations and inspection visits were conducted, as well as meetings held with the President and members of the Colleges, board of directors and members of the academic and administrative bodies. An implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to accept 236 eligible retirement pension applications, the Social Health, uh, the Social Insurance Organization (SIO) processed eligible retirement pension applications through Khatwa Home Project program. Pension salaries were dispersed retroactively to a group of approved applications that met requirements. 
The remaining equip accepted applicants are being conducted by SIO to process their pension salaries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also instructed to form a government committee to examine 69 applications and determine if they meet pension eligibility criteria in accordance with the legal framework and regulations. In recent years, the Kingdom of Bahrain has witnessed remarkable development in the field of digital economy as digital technology has played an important role in promoting economic growth and improving efficiency in various sectors. The digital economy is a fundamental pillar of Bahrain's strategy for digital transformation and the promotion of sustainable development. The Kingdom of Bahrain has adopted policies and procedures aimed at promoting and developing the digital economy. Bahrain has a digital infrastructure, promotes e-commerce, uses cloud computing and information technology, and supports innovation and entrepreneurship.